March 14th is a day of great excitement for food fans. That's because it is Pie Day, a time for us to indulge in the most perfect of treats, the pie. That is what this day is, is about, right? Right? Though it is Pie Day, we're not talking about the food. We mean pie, as in P-I, which happens to be one of the most important numbers in the world. 3.14159, uh, you know what? We can't actually say the whole thing because pi never ends. It is a value that keeps going on and on forever. So why doesn't pi ever end? And why on earth does it matter to us so much? Let's circle back and get ourselves some answers. Right now on Al Connected General Knowledge. In order to talk about pi, we're gonna have to unpack a few terms together. The first and most important of these is ratio. A ratio is a relationship that shows how many times one number is contained in another. A common use of ratios is in the aspect ratio, which is something that talks about the size of the screens on our devices. For example, the ratio of 16 to 9 is what is known as the widescreen ratio. In this case, 16 represents the width of the screen, and 9 is the height. You can make the screen as wide as you like, as long as the height follows the same ratio. So you could have a screen of 16 inches wide by 9 inches tall, or 16 meters wide by 9 meters tall. Or you could double those values, 32 inches by 18 inches. Because all of these follow the ratio of 16 to 9, a widescreen image will fit any of them perfectly. Now back to pi. It is a ratio between a circle's circumference, or the distance around it, to its diameter, or its width. Whether a circle is the size of an atom, or the size of a planet, the relationship between its circumference and its diameter is always, always pi. Pi is a mathematical constant. This is a number that is used to solve numerous equations and calculations. You can find pi used by architects, physicists, statisticians, engineers, astronauts, artists, landscapers, literally anyone who works with a circle. That is why the origins of trying to figure out pi go back centuries to ancient Babylon and Egypt. It was really just a helpful thing to know. Of course, this is where things begin to get a little complicated. That's because pi is also what is known as an irrational number. This is a value that cannot be expressed as a simple fraction. So, okay, what do we mean by that? We use fractions to express values that aren't an entire number. A classic fraction is 1 over 2, or 1 half. Sounds easy enough, right? Let's take my apple here, which is 1. We cut it down the middle, and we get 1 half. Except, here's the thing. There is no way that these two halves are exactly the same size. No matter how hard we try to cut them perfectly, there is always going to be one half that is a little bit bigger than the other. Most of the time in everyday life, we shrug off these tiny differences and just call it two halves of an apple. But in math, we want to be as precise as possible. So, what is this precise way of expressing how much of the total apple is to be found in this one half? This is the problem that mathematicians have had in trying to figure out pi. Back in the 5th century, Chinese mathematicians were able to calculate pi to seven digits. As our understanding of math became more complex, pi grew longer and longer and longer. On June 8, 2022, researchers announced that they had calculated pi to 100 trillion digits. And still, they could keep going. Pi will never end, and the pattern of numbers within it will never repeat. It is what is known as a real number. Real numbers represent values from the physical world that cannot be easily or precisely defined by numbers in math. Like our half of an apple, we can get very, very close, but there is always some tiny difference that we cannot fully express. So, now that we've got that reasonably well sorted out, you might still be wondering one thing. Why is this Pi Day in the first place? 
Well, the first three digits of pi are 3.14, or the third month and the 14th day, March the 14th. So let's leave the math behind for a moment and celebrate with a slice of pie. Here you go. Wait, are our slices the same size? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly the same? Oh, hey! I mean, you didn't expect us to shoot an entire video about pie and not start eating at the end of it, right? If you're feeling hungry for some more brain food yourself, you can always just subscribe below. That way, you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.